So if you think your child has talent, send his or her picture to the Alan Brady Show in care of this station. Maybe your child will be chosen as this year's most gifted youngster. Good night, all. Well, yeah. pretty good show tonight. Yes, it was. You gonna send in my picture, Daddy? Uh, no, Rich, I'm not. You send it in, Mommy. Maybe I'll win those gifts. Oh, sweetheart, they're not giving gifts away. They're looking for gifted children. That means children who have performing talent. Do I have that? Well, not that we know of as yet. When will you know? Well, Rich, we kind of know now. You don't sing or dance or play an instrument. I can sing. I can sing America. And here, a oh, beautiful, first bash of skies forever. Waves of rain. That's very good, forever Rich. mountain masterpiece. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> He's very good, isn't he, honey? <laughs> That's very good. That's it. Oh, man! Oh, oh, that's 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 Richie, honey. That's very good, dear, but I don't think you're quite ready for television. Oh. Couldn't you get me on the show anyway, Daddy? It's your show. Well, it isn't really my show, Rich. I just write it. All right, Richie, it's time for bed. Go brush your teeth. Okay. Come on now, hop. <laughs> There's something I think we're raising the comedian. <laughs> Would you mind if he went into television? No, not if he had talent. Think he has any hidden talent? Today, if he had, it's very well hidden. <laughs> oh, hi, Jerry. Hi, Rob. Hey, hi, Jerry. hi, Laurie. Hey, Rob, you sure wrote a great show tonight. Thank you. Coming from you, boy, that's high praise. I'll <laughs> say. For that, I offer coffee. Coffee? Well, what have you got to go with it? Fresh cheese and crackers or stale donuts? I'll have the stale donuts. It'll give me an excuse to dunk. <laughs> <laughs> me too, honey. All right. I hope I didn't throw them away. Sit down, thanks. Say, Rob, uh, that thing at the end of the show, was that on the level about kids sending in pictures and auditioning for that contest? Oh, yeah. Alan Brady does it every year. Say, do they get to read all those thousands of letters that come in? Oh, yeah, they read them. You'd be surprised how many parents think their kids have talent. Yeah, but uh, don't some of those letters get lost in the shuffle? You know, Millie was going to send in a picture of our daughter. Ellen's a whiz at the piano, but I told her not to bother. They'd never get around to reading all that mail. Well, no, they'd, they'd, they'd open yours, Jer. You know what occurred to me? What? Well, I thought maybe you might arrange an audition for Ellen, you know, sort of cut through the red tape. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't know, Jer. Here we are, fresh coffee and stale donuts. Start dunking, fellas. Laura, you see my daughter Ellen play the piano? Yes, I went to her debut at the music school. Tell Rob how she plays. Plays very well. You hear that? Very well. What a repertoire she's got. Look, I I've written it down. Yankee Doodle Dandy, The Wigwam Dance, Three Blind Mice, A Froggy Would a Wooing Go, Rum Tum Tum, Row 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 Your Boat, and The Cantata for Witches and Elves. Huh? <laughs> seven pieces. That kid has learned seven pieces by heart in less than six months. I mean, she's great, Rob. Isn't she great, Laura? Yes, she is, Jerry. But why are you shouting? I mean, Rob didn't say she wasn't. Jerry would like me to use my influence to get his daughter an audition. Mm. Can't you? Well, yeah, I can, but... But what? Uh, frankly, Jerry, if I do it for you, I'll have the whole neighborhood on my back to do him the same favor. Rob, there isn't that much talent in this neighborhood. <laughs> Darling, would it be too difficult to arrange the audition? No, I suppose not. I'll see what I can do, Jerry. Oh, thanks, Rob. <laughs> Those are gonna take a lot of dunking. <laughs> I'll get it. <coughs> Hello? Yes, he is. Just a minute. It's for you, darling. A lady. Uh, how do you like that? They know I'm happily married. They just won't give up. <laughs> <laughs> Here, keep this dunk for me, Certainly. will you? <laughs> Hello. Uh, who? No, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't... Well, oh, uh, uh, where did we meet? At the uh, PTA. Oh, yes. How are you, Mrs. Grouse Stark? Uh, well, yes, I, well, I'd, I'd love to do that, but act, it, Well, no, it, it, why don't you just mail, uh... Well, no, uh, look, uh, I'm sure your son has talent, but... No, uh, Mrs. Graustark, <laughs> Mrs. Graustark, look, there, there's no reason for me to see your son perform. I, well, because I'm not the judge. No, if you think he has talent, just... Mrs. <laughs> Graustark... Um... Mi <laughs> uh, mail it here. <laughs> it's, 
sorry, I didn't mean to shout. I didn't realize you were through talking. <laughs> uh, just, uh, just mail it uh, to me. Yeah, oh, you're quite welcome. Goodbye, Mrs. Graustark. <laughs> oh, boy, how do you like that? Mrs. Graustark is going to have you handle the audition personally? That's right. Boy, that's a lot of nerve. <laughs> oh, Jerry, now look. Robert Petrie's talent agency. Oh, hello, Mayor. Yes, sir, this is Robert Petrie. It's the mayor. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I'm, I'm connected with the Alan Brady Show. That's right, Mayor. Yes, uh, well, I could do that. No, no, no. Uh, no trouble at all. It's, it's my pleasure. Yeah, well, listen, if you, if you say she has talent, I'm sure she has. After all, you're the mayor. <laughs> well, it was just a joke. <laughs> Is that so? Gee, that's a long poem. Nineteen stanzas. <laughs> really? While wow, she's roller skating. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever seen anyone do that. Yes, I'd love to hear her skate. Uh, uh, <laughs> Not now. Uh, uh, Mayor? Uh, Your Honor? Uh, oh, hello, Cynthia. <laughs> yes, your daddy was just telling me. Yeah, well, uh, you, you don't have to recite all nineteen stand. You do. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, go right ahead, Cynthia. <laughs> yes, I, I hear the skates. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> she fell down. The Dick Van Dyke Show. Kids, come on in. That's it. Oh, why don't you sit over here, honey? Now, over there. And you sit over here until they call you for the audition, okay? Now, do uh, either of you want a drink of water or something? <laughs> well, if you want anything, just let me know, huh? Aunt Sally's going to catch up on some typing. Aunt Sally? Yes, Florian. <laughs> what do you want? Could I have an A? An egg? No, an A from the piano. Oh. That's A flat. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. A lot of little kids got a good ear. <laughs> Sally, I wonder if you'd mind... Oh, the auditions are down the hall. Uh, Mel, there with me. Uh, this is my neighbor's sister's kid, Florian, and this is my butcher's granddaughter, Anya. <laughs> what do they do? What do they do? Well, this one's a brain surgeon. What <laughs> do you mean, what do they do? I mean, what are they doing here? Did they send in their photographs and biographies? Well, no, they thought I could cut through the red tape. I mean, it's all right, isn't it, Mel? Well, I don't know whether I like that. It doesn't seem right to me. Somehow, it, it seems illegal. What seems illegal? Uh, well, I brought some kids into the audition, and Mel wants to have me arrested. Well, what's the matter with that, Mel? Hi, kids. These kids didn't go through the proper channels. Oh! Well, you don't approve, do you, Rob? Let me put it this way, Mel. Come in, kids. Over on this sofa there. That's it. Yeah, there's enough room over there. Now you sit right there. <laughs> now, I don't approve, Mel, but what are you gonna do when you've got a neighborhood full of talented kids? Hey! Oh. Wait for me! Is that Cynthia, the mayor's daughter? Well, honey, you don't have to do it now. Why don't you just uh, sit down there with this little girl until we call you? Oh! Am I late for school? <laughs> yeah, about 30 years. <laughs> what's this? I mean, what's this? What does it look like? It's a room full of talented children. What does the big one do? <laughs> Rob, it's 10.15. Hey, tell us time. Very good. <laughs> Look, it is late. We've got a whole script to write over there. Yes, and you have seven children to audition. What? We have to audition? Yes, you. What do you mean, we? You brought them, you auditioned them. I've got a rehearsal hall full of children whose parents went through the proper channels. Excuse me. There he goes, folks. The great American emblem, the bald eagle. <laughs> well, 
well, <laughs> looks like we're stuck. We might as well start auditioning. Yeah. Hey, buddy, how come you escaped your neighbors and their talented children? Who escaped? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> All right, you sit there, son. Honey, you sit over there. Good, and, uh, Frankie? <laughs> well, you see, Mrs. Petrie, we missed the program, and we didn't know anything about the auditions. Uh, when do you think Mr. Petrie will be home? I'd love him to hear Kenneth sing. Sit up straight there. <laughs> well, he'll be home soon, but I know he's going to be very tired. Oh, when he hears Kenneth sing, he'll perk up. <laughs> Everybody does. And Kenneth is an unusually gifted child. Take your hands out of your pockets. <laughs> well, I'm sure Kenneth is gifted, but you see, my husband only writes the show. Now, I suggest you contact the producer. That's the way the auditions are being arranged. Oh, but Mrs. Graustark and Mrs. Helper and the mayor said your husband arranged auditions for them. They didn't have to go through all that red tape. Well, he did, but you see, that was... Well, I'm sure he'd be happy to do the same favor for me. Well, I don't know, Mrs. Actually, Kenneth. Actually, in a sense, we will be doing Mr. Petrie the favor. We will? Yes. Wouldn't it be a feather in his cap to be able to say that he discovered the most gifted child of the year? No candy now, Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Kenneth is gifted. Uh, tell me, uh, when did you say you expected Mr. Petrie? Well, not for several hours. As a matter of fact, I don't think he'll be in before midnight. Bye, honey, I'm home. <laughs> well, here he is now. Darling, what a surprise. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Petrie. Hello. Honey, I didn't expect you for at least six hours. Oh, well, the uh, traffic was good. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, this is Mrs. Kendall, the mayor's sister. The mayor's sister. Oh, you don't have to introduce us. We're old friends. Well, we are? Uh, I mean, uh, have we met before? You don't remember me, Mr. Petrie? Last summer, the supermarket? I was the one that told you how much I liked your show. Oh, were you the one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, Mrs. Kendall wanted you to hear her son Kenneth sing, and I was telling her I thought it would be better if she talked to the producer. Yes, much better. You see, I'm not in a position... Mr. Petrie. Have you ever heard a ten-year-old boy sing an entire Italian opera? No, I don't believe I have. Well, then you're in for a big treat because you're going to. You're wonderful. <laughs> Come to the piano, Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Kendall, my husband hasn't had his dinner yet. Good. <laughs> Kenneth, put that candy down. Oh, uh, what do we do now? I'm sure she'll tell us. Sit down, you two. There you are. <laughs> All right, Kenneth. Sing your opera. With expression. Don Giovanni by Wolfgang Amedeus Mozart. 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 <laughs> Time really flies when you're hungry. Are we enjoying ourselves? <laughs> yes, well, good night. And say good night to Mrs. Petrie for me. I do hope her headache goes away. I think it's going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, shake hands with Mr. Petrie and sing adio. Ba, di, ba! <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yes. Uh, good night, Miss Kendall. What's the matter with you getting chocolate all over Mr. Petrie? <laughs> Is she gone? Yep, but not a minute too soon. How 
can people be that way? Oh, honey, it's really my fault. I should have just been strong with her and told her to go through channels. <laughs> Hello. Yes, this is he. Who? Mr. Matthias. Do I know you? Oh, I see. New neighbor with children. Talented children. Are there any other kind? <laughs> What's that, Mr. Matthias? You'd like to come over this evening and get acquainted. Uh-huh. By any chance, would you like to bring your children over, too? Uh, I thought so. Look, Mr. Matthias, I'd love to get together and meet with you sometime, but not until the gifted child contest is over. Now, is that all right with you? Fine. Rob, that didn't sound like you. Good. When I sound like me, I end up doing things I don't want to do. No more auditioning, children? Oh, not if I can help it. I think I just found the way to do it, too. Think, act, and talk me. Now, how about some dinner? Yes, sir. Hey, it works. <laughs> Laura! Sorry? Better. <laughs> that's him. That's my father. He looks short. No, he's tall. He's sleeping scrunched up. <laughs> Yeah, there's his knees. Who's that over there? That's my mother. <laughs> Is your mother pretty? I don't know. Daddy says so. When will he get up? Soon. Can't you wake him up? No, Daddy hollers when I wake him up. Maybe we could pull the covers down. Yeah, pull the covers down. Yes. Pull the covers down. <laughs> See, I told you tiger pajamas. Yeah, they're very nice pajamas. Yeah, they're nice pajamas. Nice pajamas. Like a real tiger, huh? Yeah, like a real tiger. I want to see the tiger's face. The tiger's moving. What? Laura, Laura. What are you doing in here? I was just showing my friend's daddy's new pajamas. Rich, I've told you not to wake daddy up when he's sleeping. And who are those people? They're not people. They're my friends. <laughs> I've never seen you children before, have I? No, you haven't, Mrs. Petrie. Rich, how many times have I told you not to disturb Daddy on his day off? I wanted to see the tiger pajamas. Oh, did they? We just moved into the neighborhood. Well, there must be other things in this neighborhood to explore besides my pajamas. <laughs> Rob, calm down. Well, Laura, really, I mean, this is too much, coming right in our bedroom. Now, why did you kids really come here? My father sent me over to introduce myself, my brother and sister. Oh, your name wouldn't happen to be Matthias, would it? Yes. The man who called last night? Uh-huh, that's right. All right, which of you wants to sing or dance? I dance a little. Martin's a good dancer. Yes, dance, Martin. Hold it! Nobody dances in this bedroom except me. <laughs> Come on, children. I think it's time you all went home now. That's an excellent idea. Come on, out. Uh, Martin. Yes, sir? Would you tell your daddy that you and your brother and sister can come over to our house any time you feel like it? To play, but not to dance. Yes, sir. I'll tell him. <clears throat> I've never seen you dance in the bedroom. Oh! <laughs> I'll get it. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said you were going to... <laughs> this book, yeah. Yes? Mr. Petrie? That's right. I'm George Mathias. Oh, yes, Mr. Mathias. I'd like to speak with you if you have a moment. Well, I tell you, it's my day off. It won't take long, I promise you. Oh, well, all right, come in. I, uh, came to speak to you about my son, Martin. Oh, Martin. Yes, my older boy. I see. Uh, Mr. Matthias, I think I ought to tell you, my husband is not a talent scout, nor is he a producer. He's also not a very good neighbor. What? 
He is a very good neighbor. He wasn't very neighborly to me last night on the phone, or to my children this morning. Mr. Mathias, did it ever occur to you that to send a group of kids over to my house to invade my bedroom and wake me up just to audition for me was also not a very neighborly thing to do? Mr. Petri, are you in the habit of auditioning friends for your son? Friends for my son? Is that why you called here last night? I called here last night because I'm new in this neighborhood. I was told that you had a son the same age as my boy, Philip. Oh, my. Oh, my is right. Who called to find a friend for Philip? Yes. Uh, Mr. Mathias, I'm afraid that we owe you a very large apology. Oh, please sit down. Honestly, my husband and I are very nice people. Well, I had heard that you were. Yeah, it's just that the last few days have been kind of hectic for me. You see, I write the Alan Brady show. Really? One of my favorite shows, though I haven't seen it lately. Well, then, you didn't even know about the contest. What contest? Oh, boy. Well, every year, Alan Brady holds auditions to select the most gifted child of the year. All my neighbors have been badgering me to use my influence to get him auditioned. Well, let me assure you, Mr. Petrie, I didn't know anything about the contest. Oh, well, I hope you understand. You, you will accept my apology. Why, of course I will. And please tell Philip he's most welcome to come over here and play with Richie any time he wants to. Well, thank you. Can I fix you some coffee? No, thanks. I'd better get on home and tell the missus you're not quite the monsters I described you to be. <laughs> <laughs> Do that, will you? <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, Mr. Petrie, did you find any talented kids? Frankly, no. The whole thing was a great big waste of time. <laughs> That's too bad. I just can never understand how some parents can delude themselves into thinking their children have talent. Sort of a shame. Why a shame? Well, it makes it twice as tough for kids who have real talent to get noticed. Uh, do you know any kid with real talent? No, I don't. Good. Except my son, Martin. <laughs> uh, Martin has real talent. Oh, he's fantastic. He never took a lesson in his life. He saw some Spanish dances on television one time. He can imitate them to perfection. Well, you think you were, uh, you were watching, uh, what's his name? Jose Greg. Yeah, Jose Greg. Yeah. <laughs> Darling, would you uh, like Mr. Matthias to bring his son Martin over for an audition? Uh, well, oh, no, sirree. I wouldn't bother Mr. Petrie. Right after hearing how much he's been annoyed all week. Some other time, perhaps. How about in an hour? You got a record player? Yes, we do. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> a half hour. <laughs> you know, honey, you have a big mouth. <laughs> Okay, that should hold together fine. Hope you don't mind my bringing these boards over here, but you'll be able to hear these marvelous clicks he makes with his heels. Oh, he makes marvelous clicks with his heels. Also, protect your rug. I'm gonna put the record on now. You ready, Martin? Ready. Here's the record you watch now, just like Jose Greco. Van Dyke Show has been brought to you by Cheer. 
the modern wash day product with the exclusive Blue Magic Whitener that washes so white you can see the difference.